don't always get along with Silas, but we're on the same football team. We can still work together to win. It's always good to find positive things in others, especially when you're working for the same goal. My name is Zach, and you're tuned in to listener-supported Keys for Kids. So let me ask you, do you get along with everyone? I bet you probably don't. There's at least one or two people in your life you probably find it hard to be friends with, and that person might even be someone in your church. See, when you become a Christian, you join a whole family, God's family. It may not be easy to get along with everyone all the time, but since God has loved us, we can show the same love to each other. That's one of the best ways God's family can be unified. Just like it says in Galatians 3.28, you are all one in Christ Jesus. Now let's listen to our story. It's called Working Together. Go, Silas, go, yelled Austin, jumping up and down in his enthusiasm. He watched as his teammate tucked the football under his arm, jumped over another player, and sprinted down the field. All right. Austin cheered wildly as Silas scored the first touchdown of the game. At the dinner table that evening, Austin gave his family a blow-by-blow account of the afternoon's game. Over and over, they heard the name Silas as Austin described the various plays. Finally, Austin's sister Kara held up her hand. I'm sick and tired of hearing about all the wonderful plays Silas made, she declared. I thought the two of you didn't even get along that well. But now all you do is sing his praises. Well, he may not be my favorite person in the world, Austin admitted. He's not my best friend or anything, and we don't always see eye to eye, but he's on our team. We work together for the same cause. We're both Greenville Cougars, he paused. You should have seen him run this afternoon. Peter passed the ball to Silas, and he ran down the field like a bolt of lightning. The other team... Oh, no, Kara groaned and dropped her head into her hands. Here comes another episode of Silas, the amazing football player. Mom laughed. (laughs) I'm glad you enjoyed your game so much, Austin, she said. It's nice that your team won, and it's also nice that you found something to admire about Silas. We should always look for positive things in others. I think Austin has given us a good example of how we should view other Christians, observed Dad. We may not agree with them on everything, and they don't all have to be our best friends, but we should remember that we're on the same team, God's team. We all know Jesus as our Savior and have received forgiveness for our sins through Him. Together, we're working to tell others about Jesus and share His great love with the world. Just like Silas and I are working on the same team to win our football games, said Austin. Yes, Dad said. And like Mom suggested, We can love and appreciate our teammates, even those we're not close with. So how about you? Is there a fellow Christian who annoys you? You probably enjoy being with some Christians more than others, but remember that all who know Jesus belong to Him, and that makes you teammates. Jesus loves all of us, and He helps us love each other too. Trust Him to help you and appreciate the other Christians He's put in your life. Then, work together as teammates to serve Jesus and tell others about Him. Our key verse is Galatians 3.28. You are all one in Christ Jesus. And our key thought for today, Christians are your teammates. I hope you enjoyed today's Keys for Kids story. We put these stories together to help you make a habit of spending time with God every day. When you grow up to be a teenager, you can keep it up with the Unlock Teen Devotional. It's like Keys for Kids with something to read every day, but it might be a story or a poem or maybe a journal entry from a teen just like you. Get a free printed copy of Unlocked sent straight to you at unlocked.org. As always, I'm Zach. This is Keys for Kids. <laughs>